creating your own animation from handwritten notes can be done in an easy five-step process. The first step is planning, of course, looking at scripting out what you're going to say, and also thinking about how you're going to represent that in visual drawings. The second step is to do some storyboarding where you briefly plan out what you will be drawing out. Third, we're going to actually go put that together and film or record what it is that you're doing. Take that and move that into an editing process where we can speed up clips, add voiceovers, add music, and finally we post it to share with other people. So how did I do that? Well, the first thing I did was go through the actual process and then actually I recorded the video on my phone. Now the video I recorded is right here after I uploaded it to the video. So to go through the editing process, I dragged the video in to the timeline. And what we see when we scroll down is the video is actually upside down because I filmed it upside down. So if we click on the video, we'll get some icons here. We're going to go to the pencil to edit. Next thing I did was rotate the video so that it was the right side up. And then I wanted to crop out all of the space around the outside that wasn't necessary. So I used the scale slider bar and I just zoom in to get it to be about where I want it. And then I can run through the video quickly just to make sure that everything I'm drawing stays in screen. That's the first step. Next step that I need to do was go up here to the volume button and mute it because I don't want any background volume from the drawing video itself. Now you can go through if there's something you wanted to animate or change color contrast, but I left all that stuff the same. Rotated it, scaled it up, muted it, hit done editing. So now I've got my video that I was working on. So here's a video that we I just played for you and recorded. And here's the, this video. So this video plays at normal speed right now. <clears throat> and if I play it, you see how slow the writing is going. So what I needed to do then was to now do the voiceover part. So to do the voiceover part, up here on the screen again is a microphone. You click that, it brings you into this menu here where you hit the record. You record your voiceover, and when you're finished, you can preview it, and then hit the green check mark when done. So if I do this, wait the countdown out. Creating your own animation. And I stop it, I hit the green check mark, this is going to put that at the bottom of my bar in what's called a voiceover. So here's that little voiceover I just did. So if I want that voiceover to line up with my writing about creating your own animation, I need to speed up this clip to match this little voiceover section. So I know I'm gonna bring this down here Click on the clip, click on the pencil. Now we're gonna to go to a little slow, fast motion. And from here, I'm working on this value right here where I'm going to slide this, speed up the image. You can play it. And if it's what you want, great. If it's not what you want, you have to keep kind of playing with the speed of things. Creating your own animation. So that's a little slow. I want to speed that up a little bit more. Again, some trial and error practice. Go a little faster until you get it where you want it. That's not too bad. When you're done, done editing. And so now this video that we created and that voiceover has now synced up to the speed I want as it plays out. From here, if I want to add any additional animation text or background music, you can then put background music in as well. And that's simply coming in, finding one of the files that you like, 
their sound effects versus actual just a little feel good music. Find the one you like and you can drop that into an audio track and that will play with everything else. That is the basics of running the video and creating the video. When you're all through, everything's the way you want it. We'll save that project. And then you go to finish. We'll finish it. We'll title it. We'll save it as a 720. If they give you options of different thumbnails, you can select which thumbnail you want. And then you click finish. And that's it. You wait for your video to load. And then we can download it and decide where it's going after that. I hope this tutorial helps. Uh, good luck with your projects. And we edited in Wii video, but most editing processes or softwares are gonna run the same way. Thanks for watching.